So there are several resources that I want to show you. The first one, um, using the link that I send to you, it should take you to practice tests. If it doesn't, assessment and then practice tests will take you there. When you have this heading, practice tests, then you can come on down here and there is for math, it says mathematics practice tests. This will open you up to the new tab. And in this case, um, you can open from three to five and notice you have different units you can do computer-based tests on, in which case you could open up the test and have the students um, start working through. You could project this up and work through it with the kids and talk to them about the different problems because a lot of it's about strategy and understanding the tools. Um, or you can have them pull this up individually on their devices and be able to look at that. You can also take the paper-based test, which would be something that would be printable that you could portion out. Um, first couple pages aren't really necessary. So then you can see what's being, uh, same questions, I believe, just paper, pencil, computer. What you wanna know about as farther down here is you do have the answer keys. And part of the reason this is important is one, we wanna know what they're looking for, but it also tells us what standard um, they're aligning that question to. So it helps us understand the depth and rigor to which those standards needed to be taught. So that can be something that's very helpful to understand that it's not just about we want to know what the right answer is, but we also want to know where that came from and what the, um, in terms of instruction. The other thing I wanted to show you back on that park one is if you hit released items. Um, I toggled just for math. If you try and go individual grades, it kind of doesn't do what we want it to do typically, or maybe now it will just because I'm showing it to you, but, um, Oh yeah, so just a single grade. So what you have here is student sample responses. And notice this code that's here. That code will also be next to the sample questions um, either in the print test or the online test so that you can correspond a particular question. But now we can look at um, samples of how a student responded. So here would be the prompt of what the students tried to do or were given to do. Here's the rubric for scoring. Um, and then what they're gonna do is show you down here, see how this one is filled in. So the student has done that one. Um, and that was a two, and then they're gonna tell you why it was full credit why it was a two, and then they're gonna give you an example of a different two usually, and then uh, usually what a one and a zero would look like so that students and teachers would know what's involved in order for someone to score uh, the full amount or partial on those. So see how there's several student samples, um, and when you open them up, you can see um, there's a title of the problem. Again, the answer key, um, this was from 2018, let's say, these al alignment document for the released items. So if you go into the practice test, I believe this might be a same, similar, or there's, I have to look and see, but this is a different answer key because it has the ducks on it. Let me look up here. I think there was a... There is a full test. There, there you go, the item set. So the item set, so that answer key goes with the item set, I believe. And then that, there we go, there's our deck question. So that helps us put together those two components. So we have not just the kinds of problems, but the depth to which the students would be asked to answer something. Um, and so in this case, if you wanted to be able to go back to grade four, you would want to just have grade four opened and be able to do the same thing.